Does solar energy cool the streaking raptors with strong defense? Plus other best bets on Tuesday. Good afternoon, it's Chris Bengel back with you for the second consecutive day. First of all, I'd like to apologize for having the worst luck in the entire world. As if Alabama wide receiver Jameson Williams going down in the first half last night wasn't bad enough. Philadelphia 76ers star Joel Embiid absolutely dominated the Houston Rockets with 45 points, rebounds, and assists through the first three quarters. With the Sixers having the game well in hand, Embiid sat on the bench down the stretch and he ended just one point, rebound, or assist short of surpassing the 45.5 that we needed. That's one of the worst beats that I can personally remember. Just one more made shot or one more rebound that makes its way into Embiid's hands, and we would have been golden. CBS Sports HQ newsletter, your ultimate guide to every day in sports. We bring sports news that matters to your inbox to help you stay informed and get a winning edge. By submitting my email, I agree to receive the, the CBS Sports HQ newsletter and other marketing and promotional emails from CBS Sports which may include information from our affiliates and or partners offers, products and services. For more information about our data practices, consult our privacy policy. See all newsletters, please check the opt-in box to acknowledge that you would like to subscribe. Thanks for signing up. Keep an eye on your inbox. Sorry, there was an error processing your subscription. Let's leave the bad beats in the past and cash some winners tonight. All times Eastern and all odds via Caesars Sportsbook. <coughs> The Hot Ticket, Suns at Raptors, 7.30 p.m. TV, NBA.TV. Latest odds, under 222 bet now the pick, under 223.0 points. The under definitely was good to us on Monday, so we're going back to the well. There could potentially be quite a bit of talent missing from this game between the Suns and Raptors. Suns forward Cameron Johnson is already being listed as out due to an ankle sprain. In addition, the Raptors are listing starters Scotty Barnes and Gary Trent Jr. as questionable. So three starts could be missing from this contest. One of the reasons that I really like this number is because the Suns have been one of the top defensive teams in the league this season. Entering Tuesday, the Suns are holding their opponents to 105.0 points per game which is the fifth fewest in the NBA. In addition, opponents are shooting just 43.7% against Phoenix, which is the third lowest clip in the league. The Raptors have also been improving in recent weeks and are holding opponents to 106.6 points. With two strong defenses on the floor in this one, it's hard to imagine them combining for a ton of points. Key trend, the under is 8-1-2 in the Suns' last 11 road games against a team with a winning home record. Cha-ching! The picks NBA Timberwolves at Pelicans, 8 p.m. TV, NBA TV The Pick, Carl Anthony Towns over 24.5 points. Prior to a 40-point outburst against the Rockets on Sunday, Timberwolves big man Carl Anthony Towns had back-to-back -back games in which he failed to eclipse 20 points. That's obviously not a great stretch, so it's understandable that this line is where it is. However, there's definitely some money to be made here. Prior to those two subpar games, Towns had scored at least 25 points in five of his last nine games. In those four games in which he didn't score at least 25 points, the Timberwolves star produced outings of 21, 22, 23, and 24 points. If a shot or two goes Towns' way, he continues to reach the 25-point plateau. Towns also win a combined 0, 4, or 10 from 3 in two of those games which likely won't happen against a Pelicans team that is allowing opponents to shoot 37.2% from beyond the arc. I expect Towns to dominate both in the paint and on the perimeter and should easily top the 25-point mark. Key trend, Towns has scored at least 25 points in five of his last nine games. Ice Hockey NHL Blackhawks at Blue Jackets, 7 p.m. TV, NHL.TV. The pick, Blue Jackets, the Blackhawks find themselves heavily affected by COVID-19 with top defensemen Seth Jones and Jake McCabe being placed in COVID-19 protocol. Jones, who spent the past six years of his NHL career with the Blue Jackets, tested positive for COVID-19 and has been ruled out for the game. The Blackhawks are coming off a 2-1 win over the Golden Knights, but had lost six consecutive games before that. With those top two defensemen missing, the Blue Jackets shouldn't have a problem gaining the upper hand in this one. Even with Jones and McCabe in the lineup, the Blackhawks have allowed 119 goals on the season, which is sixth worst in the NHL. Meanwhile, the Blue Jackets are averaging 3.1 goals per game and have scored at least four goals in three of their past five contests. Columbus should be able to take this game fairly easily even against a goaltender of the quality of Marc-Andre Fleury. Key trend, the Blackhawks are 1-4 in their last five road games.